Hi, mga kaibigan. Hindi kayo magkakapsyak. Mga kamide, sa lahat ng mga nakikinig dyan, sa lahat ng mga hindi nakikinig dyan, uh, meron po tayong segment na hinahatid sa inyo every, uh, two times every month, every bi- bi-weekly. Pwede ba natin sabihin yan bi-weekly? And uh, kasama po natin, uh, for today, we're very uh, honored uh, to have uh, the very joyful and the very happy and the very enchanting Uh, Consul Joy Santos. Uh, Consul Joy, are you there? Hi, Alan. Magandang uh, hapon po sa lahat ng tagapakinig ng uh, iyong programa. This is Conscience Corner? Yes, Conscience Corner. And thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you, too. Kamusta po kayo? Okay naman. Alam mo, it's uh, Labor Day weekend, but uh, we are, uh, of course, um, preparing for uh, the arrival of Hurricane Lester to the island. Ganun ba katindi si Sir Lester din? Kasing tindi ba ng hurricane? O, oh, parang uh, delubio ba? Ah, <laughs> Hindi <ba>? naman. <laughs> tame naman, tame. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes. Anyway, thank you, ma'am. And uh, it's nice to have you back on the air. And, uh, yes, and today, ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon, uh, I know there's a lot of issue with the, mm-hmm. you know, the, the killings, the drugs, and mm-hmm. all that. And masyadong mabigat yun. So mm-hmm. I wanted to have a lighter conscience corner mm-hmm. today. Uh, may lumabas na article, um, yung suggestion ni Senator Manny Pacquiao yes. on how to deal with the traffic, traffic. yeah, mm-hmm. traffic in Metro Manila. And, um, you know, marami tayong mga listeners, ma'am. Mm-hmm. Siguro, pabalik-balik, yung mga swerte, siguro, uh-uh. um, you know, they're lucky to be able to go back and forth. Pero marami din tayong mga Pilipino. There's a lot of Filipino listeners out there na hindi masyadong madalas na nakakabalik sa Pilipinas. And they're not able to go home for one reason or the other. Mm-mm. Can you tell us, ma'am, gano'ng katindi ba talaga? How, how, give us your impression. How, okay. how intense is the traffic in Metro Manila? Yeah, when, you know, um, siguro inaro down natin to EDSA because it is uh, one of the, if not the busiest toro fair in the country. Ang uh, EDSA, pag, uh, alam mo, synonymous na siya with heavy, heavy traffic eh. When you say EDSA, yun na agad ang naiisip mo, di ba? Traffic. Mm-hmm. And uh, masasabi lang natin na the cause of traffic is simply because there are just too many vehicles plying this uh, thoroughfare. Mm-hmm. Ang mm-hmm. sabi nga ng MMDA, yung Metro Manila Development Authority, They gave an estimate no last year that there were more than 340,000 vehicles passing through the EDSA at a given time. My goodness. But the capacity of EDSA is only a little more than 140,000. So <laughs> parang triple. Eh. Oh my god. Ang dami talagang uh, vehicles. Marami syempre ang population natin is uh, is growing and at the same time nagiging easier for our kababayans to get car loans, to uh, buy cars, yes. and uh, it's more convenient than uh, our public transportation. Mm-hmm. So, uh, well, the volume of cars is a given, and uh, because we have, uh, we do not have a modern public transportation system, uh, kaya buhol-buhol ang traffic sa EDSA, but uh, hopefully, hopefully with the administration of uh, President Duterte, ma- ma-resolve natin yan kahit mabawasan man lang. Alam mo, that's a nice point you said about people nakakabili sila ng mga kotse. Mm-hmm. Di ba nakaka... They also make their own cars, some of them? Yes, oo. mga home, homemade cars. Meron diba? din. Mga oh. talier, ganyan. Oh, um, alam mo naman ang Filipino, very creative and enterprising. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. So what do you think about, ano sa tingin niyo itong suggestion ni, yes, Senator, ni Senator Pacquiao, Pacquiao na wag, wag uh, or bawalan o wag papasukin ang mga, mga jeep? jeepney? Yes, ang mga jeepney. Mm-mm. Yung we, we see uh, merit in his suggestion. Kaya lang mat, ang jeepney kasi is the transportation of the simple Juan. Mm-hmm. Um, we cannot really prevent jeepneys to pass through EDSA. What we can do, perhaps, is impose restrictions. Meron kasi nung time ni uh, ni Chairman Tolentino, d- di ba, uh, he was the MMDA chair. Yes, most na, recently. Yes, mm-hmm. merong 30-second mm-hmm. rule ang buses. 30-second rule? Yes, that mm-hmm. uh, they should, uh, may mga stops, designated stops, dun lang sila titigil to unload and load passengers, pero 30 seconds lang sila. After 30 seconds, alis na sila. Mm-hmm. Kasi yung ibang jeep, 
and the buses uh, admittedly yung mga drivers means uh, wala ring disiplina mm-hmm. kung saan may makita ng pasahero bababa pag uh, kukuha ng pasahero so nakakasagabal and besides dapat din may lane sila sariling lane ang nangyayari since malaki yung bus minsan na occupy nila more than one lane and uh, you know the problem about yung um, sa tambucho nila yung um, The smoke. Yeah, oo. Oh, oh. Yung uh, tambucho. Tambucho. Oh. So, yung Tama. maliliit na sasakyan because they don't want to get near these, um, these smoke buses. Smoke belchers. Oh, smoke <laughs> belchers. And then, yung sabi nila, kaskasero <laughs> buses. <laughs> iiwas sila. Instead oh, uh. of uh, going through the the normal traffic route, iiwas sila. So, nakakasagabal din sa traffic. And not to mention, yung mga pedestrians natin, Mm-hmm. Um, yes. dami. Marami rin Ang Hindi dami. lang mga buses Private individuals mm-hmm. Mga uh, ambulant vendors Ayan mm-hmm. Dumadaan sa EDSA um, Pati tricycle Di ba ma'am? Yes mm-hmm. Sali lahat eh hindi Public, nga dapat, private yeah, Di ba dapat The tricycle's not supposed to go? Oo Pero they do Meron Mga Marami. siguro nagmamadali yeah. Meron kaya may mga small streets eh Doon na lang sila dumaan And ang buses hindi pwede sa small streets. So, wala talagang choice ang buses kundi dumaan sa EDSA. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Ang, ang jeepney pwede pa silang uh, magkaroon ng restriction eh. Mm-hmm. But uh, it still needs to be um, to be evaluated and studied. Well, we talked about this um, earlier and uh, may mga listeners na tumawag. Sabi nila, eh anong sasakyan namin pag walang jeepney doon? Wala natin. silang, di ba? Oh, ano, what do we do to get around? Mahihirapan sila na walang jeepney, may mga taxi naman, may Uber na tsaka uh, Grab sa Philippines. So, yun din nakadagdag sa traffic. Although, it, it has made um, commuting more affordable and convenient. Mm-hmm. Pero, yun nga din, we are also wanting of a mo- modern public transportation system. Yung ating MRT, mm-hmm. kung sana magdagdag sila ng... Um, More. Art. Oo. 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 Oo naman. And if we are to make the MRT uh, safe and efficient, if it is operated um, effectively, efficiently, there will be less vehicles in EDSA. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hopefully. hopefully. And, and cheap, cheaper way. Ah. It's cheaper. Mas, yes. Mas cheap yung ano. Saka eh. mabilis. Ako, and mabilis. Mm-hmm, oh, yun ang sinasakyan ko noon nung ang bahay ko kasi I need to go through EDSA. Eh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Pap- pap- papasok sa DFA sa Pasay City. Yeah, that's convenient, di ba? Oo. Yung, med- yung MRT. Aircon na siya, mabilis, mm-hmm. and uh, um, hindi mahirap puntahan. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, ma'am, you mentioned uh, siguro maglagay tayo ng lane, mm-hmm. tapos maybe tapos uh, some kind of restriction. Mm-hmm. Uh, what do you think about maybe constructing a flyover, you know, on flyover. top on top of uh, EDSA for those... Yung mga hindi kailangang mm-hmm. mag-exit, dediretso na lang sila. What do you think of that? Marami ng flyovers actually eh. Marami mm. ginag- sa Magallanes, may mga flyovers. And uh, I'm, I don't know, maybe um, it could um, lessen the burden, lessen the traffic. Pero kung gagawin natin at this time, yun, makaka-traffic. Construction pa lang nung flyovers, magkakaroon na ng traffic. Sure. And um, mm-hmm. marami ng uh, solution, even from the past administrations, on how to ease traffic in in uh, Manila. And uh, I think it would all boil down into efficient traffic management. Yeah, di ba, nag, uh, di ba may color coding tayo noon? Meron, meron oh, yan. Tapos odd-even. Ayun, odd-even oh. scheme, oh. color coding. Mm-hmm. Kahit hindi naman talaga color. <laughs> pero yung uh, more of odd-even, yun ang uh, natatandaan namin. Pero meron yes. ding mga hindi sumusunod, alam mo na. Yeah, may mga emergency. Oo, oh, and they have to get somewhere. So, kailangan talaga ano yan nila. Uh, Sana nga oh. masolve ito eh. Kasi ang ganda-ganda ng Pilipinas and um, uh, yun nga lang pag uh, it's it's one of the disadvantages perhaps for, for we, we continue to promote the Philippines but then they'd say na is it safe there? How is traffic? And then don't we, we, we just simply tell them na there are a lot of means to get around the city. Mm-hmm. Siguro just leave leave earlier than uh, than usual. Sure, plan your trip. Yes, plan your trip. Pero oh. sana nga, this is one of the the challenges or the issues that hopefully, kasi iniisip ko, pa- pauwi na rin kami. Sana mm-hmm. pagbalik namin eh. Maayos ma- na. Maayos-ayos na. Well, um, What do you think then of the notion that uh, mm-hmm. President Duterte 
uh, is uh, leading or his or his uh, sinasuggest niya na bigyan siya ng emergency, emergency. powers para maayos niya yung traffic. Ano sa tingin niyo dyan, ma'am? Ako, go ako dyan. MMDA mm-hmm. is backing this up. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think it's high time that uh, we do that. Kasi, you know, the Philippines loses 2.4 billion pesos per traffic. Per day to traffic. Oh, yeah? Ang laki. Tapos, Ganun kalaki? Malaki. And then at the same Man. time, nagiging inefficient tayo. My Pag goodness. late tayo, hindi tayo happy. Umaga pa lang, uh, Bullshit um, na bullshit na tayo. Oh, bad trip ka na, de ba? <laughs> and it's it, it it could lead to inefficiency, that's low right. low morale in uh, right. in uh, sa work natin. That's right. That's right. Um, it, I think uh, it's high time that we do this. Uh, if uh, it, it would translate to concrete results, ang mangyayari lang naman if the president has emergency powers, um it will allow our government to secure property and right of way doon na sa mga private villages. And mm-hmm. it will also um, supersede local government ordinances and mm-hmm. temporary injunction. It will entail a lot of sacrifice on the part of, kunyari, sa mga private subdivisions kung, uh, kung i-declare ba na dapat magpadaan sila doon. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But, you know, ev- this is an entire effort of of us, the citizenry and the government, siguro tulungan na lang tayo. Mm-hmm. Tingnan natin kung ano yung um, mga plans ni President Duterte para maibisan naman tong problema ng traffic. Yeah. Kasi pag sinabi mong traffic, talagang crisis na siya eh. Oo nga eh. No, I know man. I, I live there. I know. Mm-hmm. I drove through there. Mm-hmm. I, I, I know. Alam na alam ko exactly Oo. how it works. Yes. Uh, mahirap. Oo. Mahirap. You know, pag hindi ka sanay, Mm-mm. Mahirap. Ang problema, pag masanay ka eh. Yan ang problema eh. Pag masanay mala- ka sa traffic, ano? <laughs> Kaya, easy living sa Hawaii eh. Mabilis lang. You can go to work 20 minutes. Yes, even oh, with yun. traffic. It's not yeah, so bad. Yeah, with traffic. Oo. Oh, okay. oh. Alright, mga kaibigan. Um, Ma'am Joy, wait, we have to take a break. Okay. Uh, if you can stay on the line for yes. a few minutes. Mga kaibigan, kasama po natin si Consul Joy Santos uh, from the uh, Philippine Consulate General. Pinag-uusapan po natin ng traffic sa EDSA. Mm-hmm. At uh, kung meron po kayong tanong, when we get back from the break, Please, tumawag lang po kayo. I'm sure Consul Joy would, wouldn't mind answering. Would of you mind? Not. Okay, pwede po kayong tumawag mga kaibigan. Pagbalik natin, huwag kayong aalis. We'll be right back after this. Beds, beds, and more beds. Ross's Furniture and Mattress has the beds. New beds, green beds, hotel beds, even high-end M. Lily memory foam beds. Ross's has beds, all sizes and all prices. Ross's Big Bed Bonanza now at Ross's new showroom in the Dillingham Plaza. Ross's bed selection and bed bargains just can't be beat. Beds, beds, and more beds at Ross's Furniture and Mattress now. Ross's will save you hundreds of dollars and we guarantee it. Mini life crisis? It happens at all ages. We all face it, but we're afraid to admit it. Mini of Hawaii wants to help you. Check out the huge selection. New 2016 Mini Cooper hardtop, four-door, and Countryman model. Drive on by the Mini of Hawaii and experience firsthand the chest-thumping exhilaration and go-kart handling fun of Mini motoring. Also, check out the new Mini Clubman. Visit minihawaii.com for all the details on this and other special offers. And yes, you get your Mini life crisis fix. Effort, exertion, labor. The Ram Promaster and Promaster City commercial vans have been engineered to bring them all down to size. With the Ram Promaster, over 460 cubic feet of cargo capacity means fewer loads. Class exclusive front wheel drive means better handling, and a lower cost of ownership saves you money. Visit RamTrucks.com to make your business run stronger with a Ram Promaster or Promaster City commercial van. When properly equipped, based on Class 2 large commercial van segment, Ram is a registered trademark of FCA US LLC. Hi, I'm George Foreman. Do you have an idea for a new product or invention? People ask me all the time, George, how do I get my idea in front of companies? How do I get a patent? What do I do next? Do you have the same questions? I'll tell you like I'll tell them all. Call my friends at InventHelp. Call InventHelp today for free information. InventHelp can submit your invention to companies who are interested in receiving new ideas. Call InventHelp today. Call 1-800-358-7816. That's 1-800-358-7816. On paper, summer is almost over. On asphalt, that's an entirely different story. 
During the Indian Motorcycle Legendary Summer Event, find great offers on America's first motorcycle, like a $1,500 trade-in allowance on select models, with payments as low as $5 a day, but only for a limited time. Promotional offers subject to credit approval. Offers valid through 9-30-16. Certain restrictions and exclusion supply. See dealer for details. Always wear a helmet, never drink and ride. Visit Montgomery Power Sports. Look out in the street there. You know what you don't see? My car because I had to sell it to pay the lawyer I hired when I got busted for drunk driving. Know what else you don't see? My girlfriend, who decided that a guy with no car and no license and no money was no fun. And hey, you know what else you don't see? You don't see me leaving for work in the morning because I missed so much time with court and everything that I got fired. Drive sober or get pulled over. Paid for by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. KPHI 96.7 FM. Kamusta po kayo mga kababayan? Ako po si Ding Dong Dantes. Makinig po kayo sa Midday Radio Show ni Alan Alvarez sa barangay KPHI 96.7 FM. Today's Filipino Mix. Hi, this is Jean Garcia of Jimmy Networks, The Half Sisters, and Love Hotline. Please tune in to the Midday Radio Show with Alan Alvarez on Barangay KPHI 96.7 FM, today's Filipino Mix. Hi, this is Jenilyn Mercado of GMA Network's Second Chances. Please tune in to the Midday Radio Show with Alan Alvarez on Barangay KPHI 96.7 FM, today's Filipino Mix. Alright mga kaibigan, we're back. And uh, kasama po natin si Consul Joy. Ma'am, ma are you still there? Hi, yes, yes, still here. Hi Joy, Consul Joy, thank you so much. And uh, thank you for your um, point of view. Punto de vista tungkol dito sa ating uh, traffic <laughs> sa EDSA. Uh, if anybody's out there listening, you want to call in, tumawag lang po kayo mga kaibigan, 5261-1880 if you have a question for Consul Joy. Um, okay ma'am, so uh, let's move into the consular highlight. Um, I know that uh, one of the uh, services that the consulate provides is outreach services. Mm -hmm. so, and and yeah. uh, pumunta lang kayo recently from Last Hilo. Last week, mm -hmm. uh, tumungo po ang aming uh, consular team sa Hilo to conduct uh, the second for this year. The second outreach to Hilo para sa taong ito and we were able to service uh, 235 uh, applicants for uh, passport ho, um, dual citizenship, mga nagpa-authenticate ng documents, nagpa-notarize, tsaka po yung nag-submit ng report of birth and report of marriage. Ma'am, we have a question. I'm going to put you on hold, okay? Okay. I'm going to put you on and then I'm going to listen to the question. Hang on a second. KPHR, you're live on Midday. Uh, I have a question to... Hello? Hello, yes? Yeah, to uh, Consul Joy. Go ahead, uh, cool dude. Kung mabibigyan ng uh, emergency powers Siguro naman si um, Secretary Tugadi ang raisan niya sa D Department of Transportation, di ba? Like si say that again, uh, cool dude. Uh, ignore that, ignore that. There's a problem with the phone. Uh, si, di ba, ang Secretary ngayon ng kasulad ng ano, yung transportation, si Tugadi, di po ba? To, yeah, I think so. Uh, uh, na implement na ba yung ano yung point to point point na, to point oh uh, kung nari kalawakan to, to to airport ganon bulakan ah, really oh point to point okay let me uh, let me ask okay hold the line hold the line hello ma'am yes yeah, ang tanong uh, who's the secretary now for uh, transportation um gorinya um I'll check, no? <laughs> okay, never mind, never mind. Yeah. Ang, tan ang tanong niya kasi ganito. Uh -oh. kasi, yeah. da kasi daw meron point-to-point -point, um, solution dati. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, Kaloocan to Airport or, you know, uh, Kaloocan to Makati, Kubao, you know. There was like a point-to-point -point system that they mm -hmm. were trying to implement. Na-implement na ba yun, ma'am? Yun ang tanong ni Cool Dude. Siguro for a time. Hindi, ko, hindi ako familiar kung kailan ba. Mm -hmm. Kailan mm -hmm. ba to na... Um na implement mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but I think alam mo meron, uh, meron na ako narinig na i-implement yung mga buses magkakaroon ng from point to point siguro like from uh, from um, Quezon City 
to Makati, mm-hmm. meron yung diretso, no stop. Mm-hmm. Non-stop. So, non-stop. Direct. Yung siguro oh. ang sinasabi niyang uh, point to point. Express, parang ganun. Yes, oo. Oh, oh. So, walang titigil, walang mm-hmm. hindi pwede mag-load and unload. And the secretary of uh, DOT is uh, Secretary Arthur Tugade. Tugade, that's right. Yon. Okay, there you go. You got it. Okay, hold the line, ma'am. One second. Okay, cool dude. You got it? Oh, at saka mayroon pa ako isang question. Yes, sir. Totoo bang, ano, mayroon nang, yung ginagawa ngayon, mayroon nang itikso at, uh, sabi nila may mga 7 minutes ng, ano, ah, uh, uh, Im- na, ano, improvement less, seven. Na seven minutes. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna put them and then I'm, I'm gonna let you go. Okay. Cool, dude. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, ma'am Joy. Yes. Meron daw, uh, sabi ni Cool Dude, um, ano raw, meron daw improvement of about seven minutes now. Oh, uh, that's uh, nice. Meron ba? Uh, yes. He's, he's trying to confirm. Yes. 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 Tell meron. us about that. I think it's more than seven minutes. Meron improvement of ten minutes. Ten minutes? Yes, sa EDSA. Wow. Because of this uh, express yung point-to-point na binabanggit oh, ni, malaking, ni Cool Dude. Malaking bagay yun. And the, is big. the agency in charge mm-hmm. sa traffic is uh, not really DOT pero MMDA. Yes, the Metro Manila. Uh-oh, Metro Manila. Manila. Although, syempre, um, they still have linkages with the uh, connect. Um, they have collaboration with the uh, DOT, mm-hmm. Department of Transportation, but it's the MMDA. Okay, okay. We have another caller. Hang, hang on a second, ma'am. KPHI, you're live on midday. Okay, Al, meron akong tanong kay Consul. Ano? Yes, go ahead, sir. Uh, kailan ba umpisahan yung cable car na plano nila? Cable car? Oo. Oh, yeah? Okay, hold the line, sir. Hold okay. the line. Okay. Um, Ma'am Joy, there's a question about a cable car? Are there cable cars? <laughs> cable car. Yun ang sabi ni Sir. No, oh. Baka parang futuristic yung cable car. Siguro right. <laughs> not. Yet. Not in the near future? Not in the near future. Oh. Kung may cable car, siguro flying cars. Mas okay siguro. <laughs> but not in, the fu- not in the near future. Not in the near future. Yeah. Okay, hold the line please, ma'am. Hello, sir. Not in the near future, she says. Okay. Hello, sir. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you oh, very okay, much, sir. Okay, thank you so much. Yes, sir. Okay, ma'am. So, um, wow. A lot of listeners calling mm-hmm. in now. Um, so, thank you for that. Gusto nila yung topic. Nice uh, topic for today. Nila ang traffic. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Kahit na dito, na-feel oh, na rin natin ng traffic. Oh, eh. pero walang sinabi yung traffic dito. Ah, kasi no, gumagalaw. No. <laughs> not like Edsa, hindi tayo yeah, gumagalaw. Not, yeah, true. <laughs> okay, anyway. Um, all right, thank you, ma'am, for addressing those questions. Uh, you know, um, we also want to make some announcements because mm-hmm. we're about to end the Conscience Corner okay. for today. Uh, can you tell us now that we have a new Philippine ambassador to yes. the United States? Yes, we have. Uh, President Duterte has um, sent his uh, appointment or nomination for uh, for um, Mr. Marciano Pinor Jr. Um, mm-hmm. He was the former congen in uh, San Francisco, so we are happy that he's very much familiar with Alam mo na, the plight of Filipino-American community, Philippine-US issues. Sure. So we are happy, ha- very happy to have him on board. Mm-hmm. Uh, masipag na tao, he is a, P- he is a PMA-er. Oh, nice. And he is a career uh, diplomat. And, um, and uh, masasabi natin that he knows Hawaii, like the back of his hand, kasi he served as uh, an aide to um, kay, um, kay um, representative. When, when she was still a uh, former... Sorry, when rep- kay Amy Marcos, Representative Amy Marcos, nung nandito pa sila. Is that right? Yes. Oh, fantastic. So, kabisado niya ang Hawaii. Hawaii is no stranger to him. And ho- um, we hope to have him siguro pag, uh, when he visits our island, we can uh, have a meet and greet with the community para mak- makilala pa siya lalo ng ating uh, community dito. Great, Sally. Ako dyan, ah. Oo. Oh, oh. Oh, I'd, love to, I'd love to meet our mm-hmm. new ambassador. Yes. Yeah, so is, uh, is, uh, is everyone in the DFA, are they happy with this appointment? Mm-hmm. Are they, yes. yeah, okay naman Kasi sila? it came from the ranks. It came from, in, in this, although appointed siya, but uh, he's a career and season diplomat. Mm-hmm. Okay, very good. Thank you so much, and uh, we look forward to uh, a new a new um, ambassadorship from yes. uh, Marciano Pinor Jr. Yes. So we're looking forward to that. Any other announcements you'd like to make, ma'am? Announcements. Um, syempre, we are planning for the second Sakada Day. That is for December twenty six p.m. and. Uh, we, we have a committee na inaayos pa ho namin of which kasama ho ang PCCH. Yes, of course. And uh, we are planning to have um, sa, it will be a show 
featuring mm-hmm. the early lives of the Sakada. So, um, siguro by October, we will have the details ready para sa mga gustong pumunta, um, gustong uh, umatend, yan. We will, hopefully, we have the details ready. Pero, it will be December 20 at the Philcom Center. Okay, so at for sure, the date's going to be yes. December 20? Uh-uh. December 20. And 6, for sure, that yes. will be at... Uh, the at, Philcom Center. At the Philcom Center, 6 p.m. Yes. And it will be open to the public, although we are thinking uh, that we will be charging for bento meals. Mm-hmm. If they want. $10, oh, yeah. if they want. If they want, they can just come in and enjoy the show. Yes, yes. Okay, yes. all right. Thank you very much, ma'am. Um, anything else that you'd like to let our listeners know? Um, October is Philippine American History Month and uh, please stay tuned for any uh, project or activity that the consulate will will be having for that. Are there any special events uh, lined up yet, ma'am? Uh, wala pa naman. Wala, wala pa, pa naman. naman. Okay, all right. Planning stage. Yes. Okay, and uh, the the consulate will be closed on Monday? Yes. Ito nga pala, sorry. Thank you for, uh, inf- uh, for asking. But the consulate will be closed this Monday, September 5, and the Monday after that, September 12, because uh, it is it it Il Adha. It's a Muslim holiday. Oh, you're closed on September, September 12. Oh. So uh, okay. we will make the announcement. We just confirmed this today, so we'll make announcements sa our Facebook page and sa our website. So September 5, po lunes sarado kami. Susunod na lunes sep- September uh, 12, sarado din po kami. Assalamu alaikum. As- oh, thank you so much. Alaikum <laughs> salam. <laughs> <laughs> All right, mga kaibigan and uh, Consul Joy, thank you so much. It's always a pleasure to have you on the Likewise, program. Likewise, Alan. And uh, it's thank you for sharing your thoughts on the on these very important topics. You know, mm-hmm. um, napaka importante. Kasi nga sabi mo pag pupunta do na mga tourists, mga mga bisita natin. Tapos ang unang aharapin nila ay traffic. traffic. Talagang, oh, oh, ah. Paglabas sa airport. And yes. mayaman, mahirap, lalaki, babae, apektado. Absolutely. Absolutely. So thank you for covering thank that you, today. Thank you, Alan. And then we look forward to the next Conjuns Corner. Yes. Maraming salamat. Thank you. Bye-bye. Mabuhay po kayo, ma'am. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Our uh, very hardworking and very dedicated and very compassionate Consul Joy Santos and a very joyous, I may also add, uh, talking about the uh, problems with the traffic or the EDSA, the EDSA issue, and uh, kung ano magagawa natin at kung ano yung mga epekto, kung anong epekto ng uh, napakatinding traffic sa mga, hindi lang sa mga Pilipino, pero sa mga mga bisita natin, mga gustong uh, bisitain ng Pilipinas, uh, pagdating nila, yan ang unang uh, sasalubong sa kanila, yung napakatinding traffic na yan. But uh, rest assured, we are trying to find solutions. Um, I don't know, I, I kind of agree with uh, Consul Joy. Kung gustong ayusin ni um, Presidente Digong, yung problema yan, by all means, man, take take the bull by the horn and 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 fix it. <laughs> I know, for some reason, may tiwala ako kay Digong. Eh. Uh, I think if he says he's gonna do it, he's gonna do it. Uh, so I'm uh, And uh, please keep in mind that we do try to give announcements during the conscience corner. And kung gusto niyo pong uh, magparticipate or uh, sumali sa mga events uh, na hinahanda ng konsulado, uh, that's open to all Filipinos. So. Um, and if you have any questions, you can always call me or ask me. Thank you very much. Thank you to Cool Dude and thank you to Sir for uh, for calling and uh, asking those uh, very important questions uh, about the traffic in EDSA. Uh, so that's our Conscience Corner. Next, epi- next episode is going to be two weeks from now. Please stay tuned. And uh, we're going to take a commercial break here when we come back. Tutuloy natin ang ating midday. Huwag kayong aalis mga kaibigan. Huwag kayong bibitiw. We'll be right back after this. From the H Hawaii Media Center, this is KPHI 11:30 a.m. Honolulu and 96.7 FM K244EO Honolulu, Hawaii's official Filipino radio station. KPHI 11:30 a.m. and 96.7 FM. Let's go, let's go. Every once in a great while, there's a seismic shift in the world of entertainment. A moment where talent, technology, and innovation combine to change the game forever. You're about to witness unrivaled turntablism, knowledge, and sheer passion. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome. Feel, 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 feel the power. Feel the bass. 
You are tuned in to the Midday Radio Show with Alan Alvarez. Filipino-American entertainment at its best. You're about to hear the latest contemporary OPM news and commentary, along with live guests and local entertainment. So relax lang kayo at pakinggan natin ang Midday Radio Show ni Alan Alvarez. Tune in to the Midday Radio Show with Alan Alvarez. Every day, Monday through Friday on 96.7 FM Radio. 11.30 a.m. and Oceanic Cable 882. Bringing you the latest and the greatest original Philippine music hits. And the latest and the greatest local, national, and Philippine news. Only on KPHI. 96.7 FM. Hi, this is Jenilyn Mercado of GMA Network, Second Chances. Please tune in to the Midday Radio Show with Alan Alvarez on Barangay KPHI 96.7 FM. Today's Filipino Mix. Hello everyone, this is Eric Santos. Tune in to the Midday Radio Show with Alan Alvarez, Mondays through Fridays, 12 to 2, only here on KPHI 96.7 FM, Today's Filipino Mix. All right, guys, thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, let me go ahead and play this music for you. I don't know if you've heard of The Speaks. Alam niyo ba yung The Speaks? Anyway, they have this song called uh, High. High, you know the high. Just hold your head up high. Uh, kahit na may problema, kahit na anong hinaharap nyo, just uh, hold your head up high and uh, always have a nice smile. Okay, mga kaibigan? so hard to find sweet serenity Are you still afraid? Just close your eyes and dream and feel it fade away Time won't flow Everyone knows When the pain fades away Dreams won't die Tears in our eyes You've got to hold your head up oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hold your head up oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I've given up the will to change the state of mind Let's try and understand 